Minsk has sufficient stock of Iskander missiles for any mission. The Belarusian armed forces have a sufficient stock of Iskander tactical missiles for accomplishing assigned missions. Missile and Artillery Troops Commander Chief of the General Staff's Missile and Artillery Troops Department Colonel Ruslan Chekhov said, A sufficient stock of missiles for the Iskander system is available in the Republic of Belarus, which will make it possible to fulfill any objective, he said in a video released by the press office of the Belarusian Defense Ministry. As the commander explained, the Republic's troops previously lacked a missile system in their firepower arsenal, capable of accomplishing missions to a range of over 300 kilometers. He said that now, this system is unrivaled in its class and will enable the troops to accurately strike targets to a maximum range of 500 kilometers. Belarusian top brass reported on February the 1st that the Republic's armed forces had begun independently operating Iskander tactile missile systems delivered from Russia. Chief of the Belarusian Defense Ministry's main ideological work department, Leonid Kaczynski, said in late December 2022 that the Republic's teams operating Iskander theater missile systems and S-400 anti-aircraft missile complexes had undergone a full course of training at the Joint Combat Training Centers of the Armed Forces of Russia and Belarus. Belarusian President Alexander Lukashenko earlier said that the Russian-made S-400 and Iskander missile systems had already been put on combat alert in the Republic. He further said that Russia was helping train Belarusian crews to fly aircraft capable of carrying special munitions. Russian President Vladimir Putin said at a press conference after the talks with his Belarusian counterpart Lukashenko on December the 19th, 2022, that Russia would continue training crews for the Belarusian Air Force aircraft re-equipped for carrying air-launched munitions with special warheads.